Welcome, everybody, back to another episode of In the Divide. Today, I'm coming to you with a plethora of news. Yes, I have used the word plethora, which I haven't used since I was in grade school when they talked about a plethora and cornucopia related to Thanksgiving. But that's not all what I'm here for. I'm here to let you know that I do not give financial advice, but I do give financial education and entertainment. Hopefully, as you look at the video, you will be able to be entertained. And because you're entertained and educated, you will hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. The community, when you get the information, subscribe, comment, like, dislike, hit the bell notification so you know next time when I come with the video. When you want the information that you need to in order to invest, that's when you know you're part of our community. I want you to let you know also, most of the information that I bring to you is not necessarily meant for traders. We're here, we're meant for investors. The coins that we're dropping, the coins that we drop here are meant for financials. So uh, as far as investment. So if you're looking for investment news, that's going to help you make a decision, help you be able to hit those diamond hands. We are here for you. Um, like I said, there are going to be some changes. I'm actually going to be doing a live, trying to do once a week. I want to do a live, um, a live show. So stay tuned for some of the things that's upcoming. But now let me hit you with the Algo News today. Share the screen here. Share, share, share. Because sharing is caring. All right. Let's first hit us with this. Grayscale Investment creates smart contract fund for Solano, Avalanche, Polygon, and Cardano. Why am I telling you about this? Why, why, why? It doesn't have any algo in here, but let's do a little bit more of a deeper dive here. Grayscale Smart Contract Platform, X Ethereum firm firm fun Ugh. so what this is is this allows investors to opt into some of the largest smart contract networks and ethereum side chains so this fund gives exposure to altcoins like cardano solano avalanche polka dot polygon ding 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 here's the key word algorand and stellar why i'm showing you this is because one of the things that i'm trying to let people know is algorand is one of the things and one of the companies that is going to be really really important for the transition with regulation and regulators and uh, cdbc's because it's already they have in their in a blockchain structure that is already capable to be able to be translated into a CBD, Central Digital Bank Currency. Because they anticipated doing all these regulations and all the things that uh, the SEC tries to do, they're in lockstep with them, understanding what they're going to need. So when the time comes, when we all know the tide will turn, well, the digital currency is going to be adopted, Algorand is going to be already set up to be able to be a smooth transition for those people who are power hungry and want a piece of the pie. Algorand is going to be the thing that they're going to try to set up because it's already basically in a position to quickly transition to things that may be needed for the the um, the transition. Uh, they're fast enough, secure enough, and they can pr have enough privacy uh, with us in mind. So this is coming to our second thing that I want you to. Um, have uh, for Algo News this week. Silvio McCauley, everybody knows the person who uh, created, uh, started Algorand. He had a blockchain uh, uh, 
combat fab this week. And one of the things that he did, he had this talk and he was talking about privacy. He was talking about speed. He was talking about Algorand. And so one of the things I want you to see here is that Algorand is in a position and is setting up to be one of the um, uh, central cogs that is going to be um, um, looking to be uh, the on-ramp and off-ramp. That means um, it's going to be one of those ones that's leading the way to the interoperability of the broad trains. It's not set to be, you know, Ethereum flipping, but it's going to be a layer where Ethereum um, are going to be able to benefit it for, for it. These are partnerships. These things are going to be ended up doing mergers in, in, in fact, um, the, the, the TVL total value locked onto Ethereum is going to be easily accessible if, uh, if Algorand is able to establish a, a trustless um, uh, uh, connection where uh, those who are on Algo can go on to Ethereum, but those on Ethereum going to have um, going to have access to Algorand. And once you actually look and do the things on Ethereum and and you do the things on Algorand, you'll start understanding how more streamlined and easier the things. Uh, work on Algorand. So I think this is going to give us a really uh, leg up. It, it, here's a little uh, bit of what Macaulay was talking about here. Lastly, Algorand is working to improve its performance, which is already great. Macaulay said the first upgrade will sp speed up the network by a factor of 10. The second will improve it even more. The reason why we want to do this is we want to see our blockchain, which is almost designed to be a transaction blockchain is going to be adopted more and more. So we want to be able to handle not only the traffic of today, but the traffic of tomorrow and later in all the days following that. So they're looking, they're expecting because What's going to happen is if you are a blockchain and you can't handle a transaction load that is needed to have everyone actually transact, you're not global. You can be regional, you can have a couple of people, but you'll never truly be global. You'll never be the one, the layer that's actually going to be able to uh, um, um, disrupt the traditional financial system. So here's the last thing that Macaulay said. He concluded by telling the audience that the rise of high-performed blockchain will help. This is where they were, Australia. He was telling them how there's a, such a, a beautiful country. So it, he said, I really think the base of ability to have a common truth is really a first. And the ability not only to communicate, but know that you hear the same thing and that everybody else hears is common knowledge is really a fantastic gift so what this is is he's trying to say is that eventually the blockchains are all going to be trying to speak the same language and that same language is going to be algorithm it's going to be interoperability it's going to be um it's going to be um the blockchain for the people, because once you get the blockchain globally adopted, it changes the paradigm of the current financial system. It puts you in a position where you control your own currency, uh, your own money, and you can be able to make money off your own money instead of someone making money off of you. That is one of the true freedoms of what blockchain gives us. And we have to be able to take advantage of that. Last but not least, Algorand prices price likely to explode as on-chain metric reveals clear skies. And of course, this is from FX Street, one of you know one of one of my go-tos. So, Algorand price set is a stable base around 67, 67 cent, triggering a 26% recovery rally. On-chain metrics suggest little to no hurdles for bulls up to $1.05, hinting another run-up. 
the daily candlestick close below 67 cents will invalidate the bullish thesis of Alvo. So one of the things here is I'm, I'm, I'm not a really good chart guy. I, I believe in the charts, but you got to look at all the metrics and some of the on-chain metrics that Algorand is actually showing is that it's actually a, in a, a strong position right now. Um, I've been showing you different uh, things as far as the wallets earlier uh, this week, uh, the adoption, um, even the stuff with Grayscale. All these things are leading to more and more and more adoption. So what's going on right now is because the economy and the inflation, there's a depressed period right now where it doesn't seem like uh, things are moving. But I'm just telling you right now, the structure in the in the 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 base is being set. The foundation is being set for algo to move up higher. And one of the things you have to look at is going to be the market cap. You really going to have to look at it because the market cap is going to really tell you something is because we're going to start growing because institutional investors are going to want to put their money. And now with Grayscale scale, they're going to be able to put their money with algo institutional. And once the price go up, then people are going to recognize and look at it more see right now i think one of the things that hurt algorand is because it still seems like it's a small cap is low it's not moving up consistently some of the other things like solano got that hundred dollar mark and 70 80 dollars people are thinking those are things are real <clears throat> because it had its run-up algo hasn't had its true run-up yet but it will. So I hope that you look at some of these things, go back and look at some of the things in the uh, investor uh, FX uh, uh, street, look at some of the information about some of the blockchains, look at some of the information that's coming at you, and you'll be presently surprised. So one of the last things I want to read from this one is this, this index reveals that the next meaningful hurdle for Algorand price it, exist from uh, 95 cent to $1.11, where roughly 7, 712,000 address that purchased eight, 895 million algo tokens are out of the money. Therefore, a move into a cl this cluster will be met with selling pressure from investors trying to break even. So you have to understand what moves the market. So every time there's a drop in the market, there's people who buy it. And then there's people who get to a point where the price is low and low enough to where everyone wants to buy back in and think there's a, 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 an opportunity. So those people who are buying back in because it's low, now, once it get high enough, people that have been sticking in there, they actually want to sell at a certain point because they're trying to either get profit or they're trying to do the rinse and repeat. Well, they want to buy, buy low and sell high. So this is one of the things that's very volatile with the, the cryptocurrency. You have a lot of people coming in with that mentality that they're trading. They're trying to buy low and sell high. Where there are other people, less percentage of people, but it's still a lot, have a long-term investors are holding because they understand they, they're waiting for algo to actually set its footprint and continue to break out. And those long-term investors are going to be rewarded because algo has the mechanics and has the technology to be there for the long call. So that's it for this uh, kind of went a bit longer, but uh, look at uh, some of the information I gave you, um, leave some comments. Uh, like I said, we're gonna be going live, hopefully leave some comments and things in the thing here, lower there, low, talk to me and I will be seeing you later. Thank you and uh, we're out.